much easier now to gain fame. But it's harder to last. You know, I want to be famous like the Kardashians, who are famous for just being famous. Fame, in its earliest forms, is some sense that human beings need something beyond themselves. So they almost invented gods as a way of explaining what happened next. And if there are gods, there's going to be contact with gods. Some people are going to be closer to them than others. The word celebrity itself in the 1400s still meant the celebration of the sacred. The period where the nature of fame changed from people attributing godlike qualities to it was when Charles I was executed. Something big had changed. And part of that is the sense of self-making that becomes prominent at this period. The idea that you don't have to be rich, you do not have to be an aristocrat to be a person of fame. We begin to enter into a situation where the people become celebrities. He represents the, um, the cult of personality that we now know today. Oscar really was a, a nascent celebrity. His, his philosophy of life was that the point of life is self-realization, just as the point of art is self-expression. You have to bring out what it is inside you. The famous people in the 1880s were politicians, scientists, doctors, writers. By 1920, it was singers, sportsmen, actors. And the reason for that is the invention of film, which gives you the illusion of being in touch with somebody and close to them and forming bonds with them without ever meeting them. Warhol was, at the time, in the 60s, creating this um, real buzz around him and sort of creating this um, iconic figure that people flock to and he, and he certainly influenced the people and the scene around in, in New York City and you could you could think about that today with people who really influence the social scene today um, whether it might be somebody like Kim Kardashian and the followers that she has who, who want to look like her physically there's sort of a draw to um, wanting to be that figure, wanting to um, be that famous. You think about Warhol right now in this era that we live in with everybody taking selfies and these images of themselves and thinking back to Warhol when he filmed himself eating a hamburger. I mean, he um, was one of the pioneers of putting the camera, turning the camera on oneself. Think about Andy Warhol now with an iPhone. That would be the best Instagram account to follow, right? Why so many people are attracted to celebrities is that we live in an age of profound anxiety. Part of that is wanting acceptance and approval in life. You want to be accepted by people and you want it to be approved by people. Who are the people that are paid most to be accepted and approved? Celebrities. Some people document their life, which means that they don't lie, they just have a camera rolling. And some people create their life. So they actually stage um, a picture, they actually stage an outfit. I think that this will be the difference between a good influencer and a bad influencer. You have to be real, because people will feel that whatever you're telling them to do, if it's not real and if it doesn't come from your heart and whatever you believe in, they, will, they, they know. I strongly believe that the more you go into your, the pieces of you that most people would hide, the better of an influencer you are going to be. The more you're sharing things that people are like, what, I'm that way too. That's when people get excited. That's when they wanna follow you. And it could just be that this smaller kind of fame, this idea of finding your niche or your tribe, people may come more and more to value smaller, individual acts of kindness and of love and become celebrated for them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon.